fun time. That's what this video is called. That's what it's going to be. And I can't wait to see what happens after I release this video. But today we're going to talk about the recent petition and amendment to the Part 95 FCC rules and regulations regarding personal use, low power radio services such as CB radio, 11 meters, and the petition that was started three years ago or more on legalizing the use of FM, frequency modulation, on CB radio. And the moral of this video is I want to tell you what's going to happen, why it happened, who made it happen, and what should have happened. And these are my opinions and my opinions only. But we're going to talk about this right now on Ham Radio Concepts. Ham Radio Concepts is brought to you by HamRadioPrep.com. It's never been easier to learn about Ham Radio before you take the exam. And Ham Radio Prep makes it fun and guarantees your success. Visit HamRadioPrep.com. Use the code ERIC20 to instantly save 20% off every course you buy. Remember the name, HamRadioPrep.com. So if you're new here and you're clicking on this, you might want to go to hamradioconcepts.com, click that newsletter, join the newsletter button, and subscribe to it so you get alerts because YouTube doesn't send you alerts anymore in the email. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you get it on your app, and follow along and just learn some stuff about ham radio. But CB radio has always been there for me and I've always enjoyed it. And this video is going to be a little different than what you've seen on YouTube already and what you're expecting to see from me because this is my own opinion. And I think... There's a lot of people that don't understand why this happened and what we probably could have done or what should have been maybe petitioned. That would have made it a little more enjoyable. You know, if, if, here's a fun fact, okay? CB radio is on fire. Guys, they, uh, five and never nine. Uh, stay about a week, seven, eight days. I'm going to tell you right now, if I'm not on ham radio on my ICOM 705 today, portable at the Park Avenue Park in Miracle Mile, Vero Beach. Kilo, Mike 4, yeah, Mike, Charlie, was, Kilo, very, QRP. Of course the bar was closed. Okay, QRP station, <laughs> Kilo, Mike 4, uh, give me the rest of your call. Uh, it's Kilo, Mike 4, Mike, Charlie, Kilo, we're QRP portable. Okay, Mike, Charlie, Kilo, uh, Mr. John, uh, you QRP in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, or where? Uh, we are in Vero Beach, Florida right now, uh, right on the intercoastal, uh, uh, looking at the river and enjoying this beautiful morning. Where the Delta live? Look, guys. Huh? Where I'm not on the ham radio on my 7100, mobile down the road on my Tar Heel. Kilo Juliet 4, Yankee Zulu, India. Okay, Kilo Juliet 4, Yankee Zulu, India, stroke moving. Roger. Uh, Roger. I am on my CB radio. And I got news for you, I worked the world on 11 meters on 38 channel, 38 lower sideband. With just a stock radio, okay? But somebody decided that it's going to be better to legalize FM and this is going to change CB. And yes, you're right, it is. It could have been done better. But let's first do the, the technical, you know, amendment or referendum on what is actually being proposed to the FCC and who did it. So here is the uh, background in May 2017, Part 95, Personal Radio Services Rules Report and Order. The commission re reorganized and amended Part 95 of its rules governing various short-range, low-power radio services generally for personal use, including the CB radio service, GMRS, and Family Radio Service, or FRS. Now, uh, what they are protesting uh, from Cobra Electronics, who is the one who started this petition, okay, in partnership with other companies. Uh, I think President is involved in that, and I love President. Now, you know, I've, I've reached out to Cobra several years ago on a couple ideas that I had to go in on a petition, and they didn't want to hear anything about it. So maybe they took this and they researched it a couple years with the people that make way more than I do and know way more about the radio than I do, and they went their own way. And I appreciate that, Cobra. Thanks for the, uh, the heads up. But President is great. I, they just sent me this one. I have some other president radios. They make some really good stuff. Okay. President would have listened to me. I didn't approach them. So here's what they're saying about CV. Okay. That Cobra Electronics thinks that FM, okay, FM 
legalized on Citizens Band is going to bring a more pleasurable experience to CB radios and operators using FM. So the first thing I want to say is, as far as I'm concerned, FM has been legal on there since the 80s because people have used it and no one's out there to regulate it, okay? Nobody's hurting anybody, but everybody that's operating CB pretty much in 2021 is illegal already, and it doesn't bother me. I don't care. They're not hurting anybody, and we're going to get to why I'm saying that in a minute, but, you know, if you're talking about uh, people with amplifiers, well, they're illegal. If you're talking about people using FM on an AM channel, well, they're illegal. If you're talking about people using communications on 27.455, I love those guys up there. The free banders. Well, they are illegal too. So, will FM enjoy that? Here you go. Would allow users to enjoy the benefits of FM if they so choose while ensuring every new radio sold could communicate with all the existing radios in the field. It argues that a dual modulation approach has been used successfully in other countries for many years, like Europe, and Australia uses UHF FM for CV, but we're talking a whole different wavelength there. Europe uses FM, and some other com- you know, countries do. And China makes a lot of CVs now that have AM FM, and you may be thinking, well, that's cool, but what Cobra says is a better user experience for CB radios. That's about all I want to talk about right there. You get the idea. Now I'm going to get into my opinion here. A better user experience. Because FM. Let's talk about that. A better user experience. That involves the guy going down I-95 on channel 19, okay, on AM, who may have a Striker 955 or a Cobra 29 LTD or Cobra 148 GTL or a Galaxy 949, but typically they're on AM. Now you get this guy that's got an FM radio because he thinks all of a sudden it's legal to use FM when people have used FM for 20 years now on radios that have been capable of CB radio, uh, 11 meters. And he's five miles in front of you. And you're talking to a couple guys that are around you and he's got more power. Guess what? He's going to blank out channel 19. Okay. When you have FM with the capture of, of FM, for instance, you can have an AM radio and talk on AM and go to FM on, you know, if these people are talking on AM and you're on FM, you can sort of hear that there's people talking there. You may not be able to understand them, may not be too clear, but they're there. Everybody's on AM and that guy keys up on FM, all you're gonna hear is, okay, it's just gonna cover it up. And you're gonna say, whoa, what, what's going on? The first thing you're gonna think is, I need to go buy a Cobra FM radio. Well, actually, that's not gonna win in your scenario, okay? Because nobody is going to listen to the mixed mode or the, you know, sharing of modulation modes, amplitude modulation and frequency modulation. No one's going to say, you know what? I'm going to be respectable and I'm going to leave FM off of channel 19 because there's guys on there on AM. Wrong. People are, if you get a couple people that are in a convoy and they want to use FM, they're going to do it because no one's there to regulate it. Do I care nobody's ever regulated? No, I hope nobody ever regulates CB again. So that's one thing. Now, what would happen if you had an FM radio and your buddy had, say, his Cobra 148 GTL that only does AM and sideband? Do you expect him to go buy another radio because you want to get on FM? No, so you're going to go back to AM. The first thing you're going to think in your head is, well, wait a second. FM is now legal on CB, so we should really make the change. Well, that's not going to happen, and I'll tell you why that never happened with CB compared to GMRS is because somebody said GMRS was going to take over CB radio for the truckers. So some company, I'm not mentioning who, some company pretty much stopped making CB radios and focused focused all on GMRS. And where did that get them? A lot of people on GMRS with a license but they're not truck drivers. So that company should have made GMRS a possibility over here on the radio, but not tried to convince everybody to switch to GMRS to replace CB. Now they didn't say on here to switch to FM to replace AM, but what they're telling you in the petition 
is they're telling you to switch to Cobra to make an FM and radio and AM radio so that you can buy another radio that has FM because that's the way it needs to go. No, that's not going to bring a more pleasurable experience. A more pleasurable experience would have been combating the man-made noise that has been happening since the 70s and 80s and 90s and 2000. Jan with your electric Chrysler Crossfire. <laughs> yes, Jan. Your car that is now electric, converted from gas, is causing interference to somebody's radio around you on 95. Teslas. You ever, if you've never been on CB before, I invite you to get a cheap CB on AM and just drive down the road and watch one that, there's this BMW. It looks like an egg. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's kind of ugly, to be honest with you. It's a four-door egg, I call it, BMW. And that thing completely blanks out every channel you got on your CB when that thing's next to you. With that example, okay, uh, where I'm going with this is why couldn't we have petitioned a little bit differently for a, a slightly increased power limit to FCC for CB you know, radio? Right now, the legal limit for CB is 4 watts on AM and 12 watts for single sideband. But what would have been wrong with 25 watts on AM and 100 watts on sideband? Much like every radio that you have from ICOM, Yesu, Single sideband on HF is 100 watts, and AM is, on AM, uh, AM is usually a quarter of the power, usually 25 watts. Why couldn't we have done that? And then, if those radios also had FM, propose that channels 41 through 45 and 5 below channel 1 would be something that people can congregate with on FM. Because nobody, people are using those channels. Uh, 26.965 is channel one. Well, how about 26.955 and 27 or 26.945? We could have made those channels below and 27.415 and 27.425. Those, you know, up there, it could have been FM and say, hey, let's get in the FM portion, kind of like 10 meters is. You got sideband down here, CW, digital, and then you move up to AM, which is 29 to 29.2, and then you got FM. Was, was that not a good idea? Your comments are welcome down here. We could have had an FM portion and then the AM portion, right? Or 10 above channel 40, and you're allowed... Th so think about this. Cobra could have been making 100-watt sideband radios that would do 25 watts on AM or FM, or 100 watts on FM and sideband, 25 watts on AM, and they could have marketed this, and you wouldn't have been able to keep CB radios in stock ever again. And you right now, it's hard to keep CBs from a lot of companies... They're struggling to keep CBs in stock. I'm in touch with a lot of companies that do CB and CBs antennas. Uniden is so far behind, I'm not sure when they're going to catch up because of the COVID and everything else, but they've also had an increase in demand for CB radios. And Uniden makes some pretty cool stuff. Their 980 Bearcat, the sideband NAM, with the seven color display. That's a cool radio. And that'll get you on the air and it'll sound good. But what if that radio had 25 watts on AM and FM? If Uniden wants to petition with me and my audience to the FCC to expand channels and raise the legal limit, please get a hold of me, Uniden, because we can work on that. And I can have a lot of subscribers that are commenting right here below on what would happen to their market if they decided to do that. Now, you can see the I get all ramped up because I'm talking to you guys and this is fun, but there's a couple people that have already made videos and posts and they said, this is going to clean up CB radio. That is on the internet. You can check that yourself. You can go on the internet and watch it and look at it and read it. I'm not going to tell you where it came from, but this is in no way, shape, or form going to clean up CB radio. First of all, I don't think there's anything wrong with CB radio. Yeah, you got the guys out there that... And I love Super Bowl VI. But could you imagine what would happen with one guy who's running 25,000 watts on Super Bowl VI on FM, that's all you're going to hear. You're not going to hear the banter with the other guys and the guys that built their own amplifiers and the guys that resurrected and rebuilt Browning, Golden Eagles, and the guys that are on it. It's not going to happen that way. It's going to sound like an FM repeater. Best in, best out. That's what you're going to get. And I think that's kind of the reason why aircraft has not gone FM. Maybe in some countries, but have you ever noticed... All the aircraft bands from like 118 to 136 are all on AM. Why? What happens if you had a bunch of people that were 
you know, uh, close to Atlanta airport and somebody's mic gets stuck. Well, guess what? It's going to blank out air traffic control on FM and you're going to have a lot of, of, of people that may be in a mayday emergency that can't get through with Heterodyne or whatever. You know, sometimes you can be on 38 lower sideband on CB right now and hear 5, 10, 20, 30 stations at one time. They're not being rude. They're not talking over each other, guys. The propagation's going all over the world and they're all existing there. But when you have it on FM, if that was an FM channel, forget it. You're going to have people turned away. You're going to have people that are going to get on 95 on channel 19 on FM. And they're going to talk to their buddy because they're tired of hearing the people that are coming in from skip, you know, on, on, on uh, propagation from Texas that are coming in to receive. They're going to get tired of hearing that. And they're going to switch to FM and they're not going to hear that, and, you know, really anymore. But that's not cleaning up CB. That was the wrong approach to say for those people that wanted to say that. So am I excited that this is happening? Doesn't really, I don't really care. I'm more excited to make this video, see the, the thousands of comments that are going to come into this channel about what you think. But am I happy that the FCC listened and changed something on CB? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm happy that CB is still getting attention. FCC could have, if I had a piece of paper to show you an example, throw away, I would have done that, you know? No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> if, if they could have took this thing, that, that we're not going to talk about CBs, no. I'm glad that they proposed and listened to this and made changes, but I think we could have done something a little more beneficial for CB, such as, you know, wider channel bandwidth, having an FM portion, maybe some increased power. We're not shared with radio controlled aircraft anymore. We're not shared with medical equipment. That is the reason why, if you've ever not known this, there's little channels in between. You got channel 19, then you got channel 19 able or 19A or 19 alpha. And then you got like 22 alpha and you got channels in between and the only way you can get to those is with a VFO on your radio or some export radios would have a 10 kilohertz dip or jump or button. And you'd be able to slide in between channels 19 and 20, which is 20 kilohertz apart. And you'd have that little section in there, which is, you know, 27.195. 27.185 is, is 19, 27.205 is 20. That little spot in the middle would be for reserve for radio control cars, you know, other things and maybe medical equipment that would be back before I was even existed. That stuff's gone. So let's not focus on, well, we need to make sure that four watts, this is low power personal communications. You're not an HF operator. You're not going to talk all over the world. I got news for you. I've worked the world on five watts or four watts, whatever. Yes, I have. I have made contacts across the country on a stock four watt radio. It's happened and there's nothing you can do when that solar cycle hits the top. It's going to happen. So let's combat the local noise issue, not trying to say, hey, keep it down. We don't want DX everywhere. So you're limited to four watts on AM. That was my opinion here. And I'm done here. So 7-3, everybody. More videos are on the way. I hope this brought some excitement, and I enjoyed making it. But maybe let's see what you got to say. Comment right below. Subscribe to the newsletter and 7-3. This is KJ for YZI.